How's it going everybody? Ben from Budget Pokemon here and in this video I'm gonna be opening these Pokeball tins right here. Now I had originally planned for this video to be my CGC return. Unfortunately though, I haven't received them yet. They actually got delivered on Monday at their Munich office, at CGC's Munich office. And last time around it only took them one day to, to ship the cards back out to me using Intex. Um, this time it's it appears to be taking a little longer. So I thought why not open a few, a few Pokeball tins. Now these are actually German Pokeball tins, obviously, I had to go out and buy some stuff. And this is what I came up with, these are always really fun to open. I have the, the Pokeball tin behind me sitting on a shelf, so I thought, well, might as well add the other ones to my collection. Um, actually, let's start with the Premier Ball, we uh, will work our way up to the to the actual um, greatest ball, or the, the, um, the, whatchamacallit, the Ultra Ball, there we go, let me just cut this one open, hopefully without damaging it too much. That appears to be almost perfect, a little tiny scratch, but you know what, that's... that is completely fine. So, while we open this... actually, let's let's see what the, the packs are in, inside of this. The last time I opened one of these, it was really, really long ago, I think. I might have actually... the one that I opened had some... Um, some Cosmic Eclipse packs. And um, this one a few bit more recent. Jesus, can I get this sticker out, please? Thank you. From a Galarian Hisuian Primeape? Don't know. That might also be the newer one from Scarlet and Violet. I don't know. But we also have a Tandemos. Oh no, this is a Mousehold sticker. There you go. And here is the other one. Nice. Some some stickers. Usually that would be a coin here. So we have two times brilliant stars and Fusion Strike. You know, I recently did open um, Fusion Strike, a booster box. I did pull an alternate art, so we can't knock it off for that. I did pull an alternate art, but not the alternate art you would want. Let me pull out the code card and then we'll do the card trick since we, we don't have that many. Here's the darkness energy, we'll put that aside. And let's see what we can get in this one. So we have a Tropius. I'll try to translate the names as best as I can. We have a Claydol. For some, I might not. Um, I might not remember the name. Um, this seems to be an Impidimp. Uh, Star U. We have a Riolu. That's the same. Um, Starly. I want to say. Um, Milkry. I think. Oh, we have a character rare. We have a Dusk Noir with Morty in the background there. Nice. Okay. And the rare is a Staraptor. Well, we already pulled something in our first booster, so that's that's promising for these German ones. I mean, this is kind of nice. I've been meaning to open some more German booster packs anyways. So now we get we get both of the best of both worlds, I suppose. Whoops, I just pulled that card out. And here is the code card. That one was the other way around as compared to the other one. Okay, so one, two, three. We'll reveal the energy right here. And then we see what we have. This is a Dormanitan, Galarian Dormanitan. We have... Jesus, I, I always get these confused. Um, we have a... whatchamacallit, a Phalanx. We have a... Um, <laughs> right, and here we have a Totodile. I actually had to look up the name because I wasn't sure anymore. I could remember the, the other two with with Cyndaquil and Chikorita. I just couldn't remember that one for some reason. Here we have Snorlax, just chilling. Snom, or in German it's called Snomnom. I don't know why they added something at the end there. Don't know, a Smeargle and a... Um, whatchamacallit? A Grimmsnarl, I think this is. A rare. This is that is not guaranteed in in Sword and Shield, since these are Sword and Shield era cards. Um, that rare is not guaranteed, so technically counts as a pull. Obviously, not the pull that that people would want, but a pull nonetheless. Okay, a Piplup right off the start. Let me just pull out the code card right here. There you go. And then we do one, two, three. And this time we don't have an energy. This time we have a V Star marker. Okay, let's see what we can get in this one. We have, oh, we have Acerola, okay. We have, there is the, the Piplap. We have a, um, whatchamacallit. We have a Purloin, also had to look this one up, because I wasn't sure anymore. We have a Duskull. We have a Sneasel. We have, well, we have Acerola again. And we have a Flygon. That illustration actually looks very cool. Who illustrated that, by the way? 
Oh, okay. Haven't haven't seen that artist. I probably have seen that artist before. I just wasn't wasn't thinking about him. That is a pretty cool illustration. Well, let's open the the great ball next. Let me cut this one open as well. Actually, I think there's something to to rip them open right here. We'll see if this if this works. Um, somewhat, somewhat. You just have to be very strong. There you go. Okay, so you don't even have to cut them open. Just do it as that. Um, this should have the the exact same booster packs. Not sure about the about the stickers. Maybe those are different. I can already see the prime map is right here. And then okay, so the the stickers appear to be the same. The the booster packs, of course, as well. So without further ado. Let's open some more Brilliant Stars. I don't actually need anything else from Brilliant Stars or Fusion Strike. I mean, I take a, I take a Charizard, even though I already have one. The one that I have is a bit off center, but you know, you know me. I usually don't care about those things unless I want to grade them. But for for the alternate arts especially, I just want to keep them in my binder at least some of them, because I'm working towards my my alternate art collection. Not all of them, just the ones that I really, really enjoy. Hang on. Alright, we have a Spirit Tomb. A Spirit Tomb, we have a Manaphy. And we have a Berry, okay. A full art trainer, you know, I ain't too worried about that. Is that his name in, in English as well? Actually, I'm not too sure, but yo, this is really cool. You know how much I love full art trainers. And despite the, the hate he may be getting, well, not as much as Hop, I think most people just find him annoying. Um, I really like him. I actually, actually really like him. The rival of Diamond and Pearl and Platinum, of course. So there we go. That's, that's a really nice pull. Man, okay. That was pretty cool. Let me get this out of here. Of course, Fusion Strike is always proving to be difficult, not only to open, but also with the pulls. Um, maybe I can't complain too much anymore, since I have pulled an alternate art now. Given it was the wrong alternate art, <laughs> wasn't looking for that one, of course. But an alternate art is still an alternate art in the Sword and Shield era. Alright, we have a Puzzle. Don't know or don't remember the name of that one. We have a Meowth. We have a Toxic a Croak, or oh, no, Krogun? No, no, no. We have a Toxicroc, okay, so one of those names was correct. And we have a Zara Aura, non-holographic rare there. We'll still have one Brilliant Stars left, and then we still have the Ultra Ball left. So let's open this, this Brilliant Stars right here, if I can get it open, there we go. There we go. Flip over the code card. There you go, throw that aside. Three to the front. Flip over the Fighting Energy. And then let's see what we can get here. Bear tick, I want to say, unless I am completely mistaken. Um, Ruin, Laxio, I think that's the same. Electic. Um, this is a... I always forget. It's not Chincho. I want to say Chincho, but it's not. It's Chingling. I always forget that name. I always mix those two up. And we have Gabite. We have a... Um, we have a Turtwig. We have a trap inch. It, it takes me a while to remember the English names of these because as a kid, of course, I would play the the German versions of these games. So I'm so used to the the German names of the Pokemon. Not necessarily the newer Pokemon. Like, I guess from, from Sword and Shield onward, I'm kind of used to the English names for now because that's how I experience them. But especially for these older generations, I, I'm so imprinted on the on the German names that it it's kind of difficult for me to remember them completely new right there we go we've got that one open very nice the the last ball that we open oh this actually has a different sticker I see a Fido see I already know that's a Fido because that's the only that's the only name I know of that Pokemon I do remember the English name so there's no no difference for me here Fido and I have forgotten this one but there you go, two more stickers and, of course, the same kind of booster packs. Let's see what we can get. Maybe we can get another full art trainer. Or maybe even a, a full art. I'm not going to say an alternate art because there is no way that we're going to pull an alternate art out of these. But you never know. I mean, the, the berry that we've pulled is already, already really, really nice. I'm really happy about that one. 
So Cheruby. Let's see. This is a corfish in English. We have a Golbit, Gobite, I think it's is the English name. Here is the, the Chingling again. Another Gabite. And a Staraptor again. Okay. Nothing for for that brilliant stars pack. Let's see if this this Mew pack right here of Fusion Strike can give us something. You know, I'm I'm still on bad terms with Fusion Strike. I mean, yes, I've pulled the alternate off. I've, I've said that multiple times now in this episode, I feel like. But I'm still kind of on bad terms on on oh hang on. Let me show off that code card once again. There you go. Still on bad terms with um, with Fusion Strike. I mean that alternate art is basically the best thing I've ever pulled out of out of Fusion Strike. All the other cards that I have, like the the Mew full art and both of the alternate arts, the V and the V Max, I actually ended up buying as singles. Because no way, Jose, I am ever going to pull those. Um this is no different. Fusion Strike. Have we even pulled anything from Fusion Strike? We have gotten one holographic from Fusion Strike. That's ridiculous. That is kind of ridiculous. All of our pulls have come from, from Brilliant Stars. So let's see if this is any different. Maybe this one can give us a nice pull at the end here. Maybe we can end on a on a full art. Or maybe just a, a V Pokemon, you know, like a nice Charizard or something. Here is the last code card for this opening, of course. We get one, two, three. We take the energy and put it right here. And then let's see, we have a Weavile. Let's see if I can get all these names. Um, no way, the the pre-evolution of, of Haxorus, basically. No clue. Team Yell, that's still the same. Um, don't remember, Shinex? That's not the same, right? That that has a different name in English. Um, Farfetch'd, this is quite different. We have an, an Execute. We have a, um, a Grimer, that's the English name. And we have a Zekrom, okay, so we're ending it with a with a Trainer Gallery card, very nice. Very, very nice. Here's the energy, maybe there's something else here? Nope, just a, an Electrovire. But hey, this is probably still one of my favorite Trainer Gallery cards, at least the normal ones, not the textured ones. Because just look at this, this is beautiful. I I already have this in Japanese, but I don't know, I don't think I have it in English, so this is a... A nice addition to the to the collection right here. So Welp, this is what I ended up with out of these three Pokeball tins. All right, well I guess that does it for this video. I mean, I I didn't really just buy them as a replacement for the CGC cards return. I also bought them as like display pieces because these will look great on my shelf next to my Pokeball. Well, but other than that, that does it for this video. As I've said, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you, and right here is a uh, is the subscribe button. You should click this one first, and then you should click this one. Um, other than that, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned because in the next week's video. I will hopefully open the um, Pokemon 151 Ultra Premium Collection. I'm excited about that one. Uh, but anyways, um, thanks for watching this one. Peace, peace, take care.